disclaimer in this video the words we could probably do with a drop of rain are going to be uttered more than once the grass to be fair is absolutely flying um, I cannot complain about that so i've just moved this lot onto this fresh paddock now this grass has only been rested for about a month um, and you can, as you can see in that time it has done a hell of a lot of growing um, i normally like to rest fields for 40 to 50 days but i haven't needed to really um, so they're just coming back around this field a bit sooner than they would have um, but that means other fields on the farm have been left alone for longer so are going to be getting rested for more like 50 to 60 days so sort of this field's been slightly sacrificed um, to allow the others a mega rest and this is all grown without chemical fertilizers pesticides mechanical intervention lime anything it's all thanks to that but anyway that's not what this video is about now the spring beans are definitely right they don't look like they're thirsty in any way whatsoever but what's underneath the beans could really benefit with a drink so this is the micro clover and trefoil that we broadcast into the beans a couple of weeks ago and it's coming but oh, look at that crack it needs a drink seriously badly There's a really nice bit. So hopefully, come harvest, I don't know, end of August, start of September, when we get these beans off, that clover will be spread all over the field and we'll have a catch crop immediately growing. Um, and then I'm hoping we'll get away without spraying um, glyphosate onto this field and just direct drilling the following week into the clover sunlight is definitely helping the clover get away more if you look down this tram line it's almost green with clover in terms of the actual beans they're just flowering now and they're working very hard fixing a lot of nitrogen as you can see by the nodules and there's a really strong hum of bumblebees busy at work on these hedges and on these beans, really nice to hear. Pretty pleased with this so far. Um, it's definitely working somewhat like I wanted it to. It's a shame we haven't had any rain because that would be absolutely pumping, but fingers crossed, this should work out. Now this is the summer grazing cover crop I planted a couple of weeks ago and since I left the field with a drill I don't think we've even had a millimetre of rain. And you can kind of tell. However, it's not all doom and gloom and we have got plants growing, getting their roots down, going to depth where there is a bit of moisture. So we've got a bit of vetch coming, there's some mustard, a bit of phacelia, it's a better piece. Um, some clovers are coming, the chicory's doing all right, the giant sorghum, sorghum, I don't know, that's a bit American for me. Um, there is some sunflowers about as well and various other bits, so we are getting somewhere. There's a little sunflower, I don't know whether the radishes in this mix aren't getting away quick enough because of a lack of rain, so they're being eaten by everything. And really, that's the beauty of having such a diverse mix. Say if 30 or 40% of the species in the mix are struggling because of the lack of rain, the others in the mix that are rooting properly, getting their roots down, 
accessing moisture are going to grow on and capitalize on the bare ground left by the species that haven't pulled through now if you scratch an inch or two down there is well a bit of moisture and as you can see our cover crop is working reaching down to try and access that bit of moisture deeper in but anyway it's not that drastic yet it is growing but if it had a drop of rain this field would just explode into life anyway it'll come um, albeit a bit slower than i would have liked but it will still provide us loads of grazing when it comes um, for some weaned lambs or something a bit later on in the summer the next reason i'm pleading for rain from the rain gods is i need to get winter bird seed established and that is not going to be jumping out the ground if it stays dry now i have just found something very interesting in here and it does just demonstrate the beauty of drilling on the green into sort of a living cover crop or my grazing um, system where i'm trampling a lot of the grass down so this is a relatively bare patch um, and as you can see it's pretty dry and dusty not a lot of moisture there whereas we move over to this bit which has got a nice mat of dying grass dig it out of the way it is a lot more moist in there something might actually grow in that and that little slug there is a great indicator that that is remaining moist under the mat of grass um, issue is they're going to eat my bird seed now i don't quite know what to do whether to try and direct drill this with the rapid um, the bird seed will probably get away a bit slower and i might not have great seed soil contact or disc it up um, and then drill it um, so that the bird seed gets a quick start and gets growing away so i've decided to disc it in the end um, I think trying to direct drill it with the rapid would not work. I don't think the rapid would even get the discs in the ground um, as it's that dry. Something like a John Deere 750A might do it, but I'm not going to get the contractor in to do an acre of bird seed. And it's so dry, I'm struggling to get the discs in the ground, so I'm having to go over this like three or four times to get any sort of seabed um, and then I'll go over it with rapid again and to be honest I'm going to put the seed in the ground but I don't think it's going to grow and this corner of the field here is traditionally really wet hence why it goes into bird seed but at the moment it is just baked solid so we could really do with a drop of rain anyway that's enough of me complaining about the lack of rain. It was only about a month ago I was complaining it was raining too much. If you like the video, give it a like, subscribe. Um, but for now, cheers. See you soon.